Right before we get into this video, if you want to support me or communicate with me, please go follow my Twitter and join my Discord server. You can find both links in the description. If you would like to support me in Fortnite, feel free to use code LICKBTW in the Fortnite item shop. Thanks so much, I hope you enjoy the video. Once you open a light motion, you're going to want to simply press the green plus at the bottom and create a new project with 4K by 60 FPS resolution. We're now going to press the green plus at the bottom right, image and video, and add in our clip. And as you guys know, my clip already has velocity. If you guys don't know how to add velocity, you can find a link for how to make velocity in the description for the Apple Light Motion. It's free and it's super easy, and you guys can come back to this video when you finish watching that. The first thing I'm going to do with this clip is I'm going to first the first frame where the damage pellets come up, so the shotgun pellets, and that's going to be this frame. I'm going to click on the clip, press this middle split button, and now I have these two different halves to work with. Of course, since it is a build-up shake, I'm only going to be working at the first half. If you guys want to know how to add an impact shake, you have, again, there's a link in the description for a light motion. Another free tutorial, and it's super easy for you guys to do that. So for the build-up shake, we're going to simply go to the first half, press effects, and we're going to add in two effects here. We're going to add tiles, which mine is right here, and then we're going to at, turn on mirror, that's really important so we actually do have reflected edges. We're going to go back out, back into effects, add effect, and we're going to search up random jitter. Of course, you, as you guys saw in my impact tutorial, you could use oscillate, but I prefer random jitter for a build-up shake because it adds, it allows for a higher frequency, which means basically just a, a faster pre-shake. So with these settings, of course, guys, as you guys know, these settings, it is just an effect. You can change the settings however you want. I'm going to give you guys some basic settings, and of course, you guys can change those however you want to make it look better uh, and for your own personal liking. So for this first, there are three different things here that you guys need to worry about. Angle is where the angle in which it's going to be jittering or shaking. And for a vertical pre-shake, I just turn the angle down to zero. I think it looks the best for this type of pre-shake. For frequency... We're going to just change this down to 15. Uh, yeah, 15. I think 15 is a good starting point, and magnitude turns that to 0, or 1, because that's what it allows for. We're now going to go to the first point where we want our build-up to start. So I'm going to go a little bit before I start pulling out the shotgun and add a keyframe for both magnitude as well as frequency. Go to the very end of the clip, add a keyframe from both those again, and, and simply raise both of these values by a little bit. I'm going to raise magnitude to around 50, and I'm going to raise frequency to around 30. As I said before, you guys can change these however you guys want, and this is how it looks right now. I'm sure it will look a lot better with an impact shake. This is a similar pre-shake to the one that I use, and just change the settings around a little bit, and you guys will, you can change it to make it better for you guys and your own personal liking for these pre-shakes. If you guys want to make it faster, simply change up the frequency. If you want it to be like a greater shake with more magnitude, Simply turn up the magnitude with this effect right here. And then you'll end up with your own personal pre-shake. And of course, as you guys see here, you can copy these effects and then paste them if you guys want to make presets for this. Pretty simple and pretty straightforward. I hope you guys enjoyed this pre-shake tutorial. Hope you guys found this video helpful and I hope to see you guys in future yeah. tutorials. See you guys yeah. soon. Had a dip, let it go, grind on with you. I had to let go on a fart, nigga. I need 10 for a show on.